find a teammate just a little too straight on that occasion. That's the ball's fifth trip to Cooper since they entered the competition. They've only drawn one, lost the other three. Irun Kunda looking to excite the fans, he's got in behind. And Mork steered it across the face before Vujica took evasive action for MacArthur. Well, he's just so electric, isn't he, in the story? You think he's going nowhere, and then he just switches a switch, and look at that pace and control. Finds a player in the box as well. Clayton Lewis might have felt there was a bit of a push on him there, but Ben Abraham happy to let things ride. Here's Kitto. Mork in the middle. He set himself nicely and fired over the top. Now, Clayton Lewis wants to continue that debate with uh, Ben Abraham about what he thought was a foul around the halfway line. A couple of assists for two of Irin Kunda's goals as well against Western United the week before. And those two combining here again. Oh, that's unbelievable! Oh, my word! That is what they came to see tonight! And it's that combination again. Goodness me. That is a peach of a hit from Nestor Irakunda. It brought both me and Daniel McBreen out of our seats. What a talent. What a goal. Well, that's who they've come to see, and he has delivered yet again. Punchy ball in towards it for circuits. Good football by the Reds. They create the space. Down the right for Stefan Mork. Disguise pass to Irin Kunda. And cleared virtually off the line by Yadi Nikolaou. Might have got a, a glob to the face from his own goalkeeper. Certainly had a much better view of it than we did. Now they get to a bit of space. Going to hit one. Oh, good try. Well, he's never scored. For Adelaide United, but he wasn't far off there. That was some hit. Very fortunate to get through for Irin Kunda. Might pull the trigger, thought about it. Kitto, the cutback. Good save, Kurto to deny Mork. And then blazed wide. Back in by De Silva. Out again by Van der Sarg, and Adelaide survive, and now they've got the whistle to relieve that pressure for the foul on Irin Kunda. Well... That arm definitely moves towards Irin Kunda. Here comes the card. What colour is it? Yellow is cancelled. Red is produced. And the balls are down to 10. That is the as live ladder. And it will show, if it stays this way, that the Reds will jump above Melbourne City and onto the shoulder. Well, three points behind Western Sydney Wanderers. Here's Irun Kunda looking to make the game safe. Well, he snatched at it. He did the hard work and then went near post. Well, that's the position Carl Viet wants to see him in running forward at his defender, shifting the ball from side to side. This is Piol. Germain. De Silva. Cross is not a bad one. Off the chest of Jermaine! And Aria Piol stuns Cooper Stadium! Very cleverly done by Valer Jermaine. And the two Bulls supporters are the happiest people inside a jam-packed Cooper Stadium. Out of nothing, the ten men of MacArthur are all square. But a little bit of brilliance from that man there to lay it on for Piol. Looks to have rescued a point for MacArthur at this stage. The Silvers quarter. Heavy back to him. Right, Reds defender, De Silva, back post, 2-1! I don't believe it, Tommy Smith at the back stick. And the ten men have come from one goal down to lead 2-1. Quite extraordinary. Lopez with the cross. 
Mukunda threw himself at it, wanted a penalty. Here's Musa Toure finding the angle, but not finding the back of the net. And uh, we're told that VAR is just checking a potential handball in the box by Tomislav Uskok. They're having a long old look at it. It certainly struck the arm. Penalty. The biggest cheer of the night. Will it be Nestor? It looks like I reckon it's, it's going to be Nestor here and Kunda. That was going to be yeah. the question. If he saves this, surely MacArthur are home for the three points. It's Nestor here and Kunda. He does save it. Yeah. I literally can't believe what I'm seeing.